Hi GQ, welcome to my studio. I'm a few days away from my solo exhibition at Zachary Gallery of eight new large-scale pot paintings. Um, I'm happy to give you a tour of the studio and show you the, the works before they get framed and taken to the show. Follow me. This is the, uh, the painting from the invitation that's been sent out. It's called London. It's basically like a temporary portrait of London with uh, my alter ego, the lobster, in my uh, Fred egg suit um, as the protagonist. This, this character is the protagonist and the narrator through all the paintings, so it's the one consistent thread through all the, all the works. Um, there's lots of art historical details juxtaposed with very sort of um, lowbrow everyday items such as bin bags and footballs and things mixed with very like, um, you know, sort of fun references to, to you know, to Britain. Um, having details like this, this is a section from Hans Holbein's The Ambassador Painting, very important painting in the National Gallery, which is, has um, the skull. I really love that image of the skull, so I wanted to put it into the painting as a, as a nod to Holbein. Um, yeah, the, the, the concept really with, with, with these paintings is very much like showing a very contemporary um, take on, on, on a sort of pop image, this sort of idea that pop today is hypersaturated. It's not a filtered down clean idea. Like 60s pop was very idealized in a way and in a way that pop has evolved and you know we have evolved as image consumers so um, these paintings are sort of a hybrid between our own hybrid minds of social media and our own memory um, plus our own sort of huge ravenous um, ability to consume so many art images at once so the paintings are sort of littered with art historical connections and ideas and references and and um, and yes yeah, so I, I feel I've wanted to sort of capture this idea of like contemporary pop painting. Come with me, I'll show you the, um, the, the Desert Hunt painting. This is the last painting I made for the exhibition. It's um, inspired by Rubens Hunt painting and I've sort of reworked the idea of the painting into a sort of contemporary art battle um, with lots of art historical figures um, sort of clashing and fighting with myself in the centre um, being attacked by this giant tiger. Um, the, the concept of the painting is very much this eternal sort of conflict, the eternal sort of battle. Um, I've taken elements of Gero, uh, Picasso's Guernica, um, because basically that's again is a similar sort of anti-war painting and I wanted to sort of make the, uh, a sort of painting as a testimony to this constant conflict that is in is the heart of human nature but also even within the art world and the whole idea of of, of the language of art and this sort of constant battle of aesthetics and taste and ideologies. Um, it's actually Kanye West, it's a portrait of Kanye West by Kondo attacking Basquiat. So in a way Kanye is killing Bas killed Basquiat, or trying to kill Basquiat. Over here is my kitchen chaos painting, which is a sort of um, visit to the 1960s American pop concept of the kitchen. I, mean, I think an idea that really captures the, the concept of my paintings is, is that I've put Cezanne in the fridge. Um, so I like the idea of contextually putting art history into the fridge and then, you know, the kitchen has become chaotic, it's overflowing, there's like a David Hockney swimming in the sink. So you could, yeah, this is the kitchen painting. And there's also, very importantly, one of my favourite American pop painters is James Rosenquist, and so I've put an exact detail of a Rosenquist painting into the um, kitchen scene. I've always felt that Fernand Leger, was, was the French painter, was one of the great influences on pop. Um, I, I, you can see his, his um, work replicated in Liechtenstein and, and stuff, and so uh, you know, I've always seen his sort of populist um, images of builders as a really strong idea of like early pop so I wanted to play homage to him and, and do a, a painting sort of um, capturing this idea of builders and I think the builders are really interesting because you know all, every society needs builders they create everything in terms of all the entire settings we live in etc so I, I really like the idea of revisiting this idea of the builders 